Lesson 7, the continuation of declension of the O-stem. We're just going to read through the vocabulary words first. Adelphos, Theos, Laos, Aranas, Huias. Now in this word there is a rough breathing, and I'll zoom in so that you can see that. And it is pronounced like hui, H-W-E-E, -E, and you can see that on your screen. That word is going to be a very common word. And on the neuter or neutral side, we've got ergon, iran, imation, padion, technon. So to decline some of these O stems that have the accent on the ultima, we're going to be looking at the word aranas, which means heaven. All right, so in every genitive, ablative, loc locative, instrumental, and dative, the acute accent changes to the circumflex. And the reason is because in the nominative singular, the accent, we it's placed on the ultima. And when we change the ultima to long, we have to then give it the circumflex accent. We are going to keep the ultima accented because that is how it is in the nominative singular. Now I am guilty of having to look up where these accents are placed when I'm looking up, when I'm writing down the vocab. I'm not really learning where the accent is placed when I'm spelling the word, and I really should because I, I find that I do have to go back and find out where in the nominative the accent is placed so that I can figure out where to put it. So I would recommend to definitely try to learn where these accents are in the nominative. It will help you. So we're looking at the ending in the singular column for the genitive and the ablative, the OU, or the omicron upsilon, and that circumflex is on the upsilon. And then we're looking at the plural, for example, in the locative, instrumental, and dative, that omicron, iota, and sigma, it is over, the accent is over the iota as a circumflex. And those are diphthongs as we've already learned. And so in point 41, I've already kind of covered that. When you have that accent on the ultima, and again you change it into a long, you're going to keep it there, but you just change the accent to the circumflex. Now we're going to move on to the neuter substantive of the O declension in the word ergon. And we're going to be putting the word the with it because we are going to be declining the with the neuter O stems. So when we're looking at the nominative, the accusative, and the vocative case, they have the same ending. And no, it isn't to confuse us, although it is confusing. And if you look over at the plural side, it's the same. Ergon in the plural, that O-N, that Omicron, nu, changes to the alpha in the nominative, the accusative, and the vocative. Also, I would like to point your attention to the definite article in the nominative, the accusative, and the vocative. Ta changes to ta in the plural here. And that's it for the lesson. We're going to move on to the exercise in the 7.2.